This is the Red Star Land, and you're watching The Barley Room, alongside H2P Media Productions. Boom! Yeah, everybody, once again, back in the boiler room. You know, it's already, it's kind of on the weather, so we didn't record uh, last week. But, you know, back in the fact again, that kind of yeah. Once again, I hear my brother, Jen, Adrian, the beer, Jen Green. How you doing, sir? A good, father. Glad to have you back, man. Shh. Yo, you know what? Uh, Yo, you're alive. You might not be kicking, but you're alive. Yeah, I, I, I can kick a little bit. Mm. Like a dog paddle. Okay. <laughs> like a dog yeah. paddle, but I can't know what you can give for too long, but yeah. A little toe punch. Yeah. But you know what it does be. Yeah, it be like that sometimes, man. The real thing. How are you doing? What we got in studio? We got a guest. We That's got, obviously. We got one. You always got a guest. One of Barbados' top reggae artists. Uh-huh. A man who's been flying the flag for Barbados. Over, over out in a way. Over in a way. Yeah. A man who's rep Bajan reggae hard. Okay. The Red Star Line. What's going on, my brother? Respect. Yes, sir. Yeah. Glad to be here. Yeah, yes, man. Sir. Welcome to the boiler room. For well. I was thinking about boiling for a while now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that for you, right? We got to go outside New Zealand when I come in. You then, just get your head, boy. So you decided to pull up on bowling. the chalice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about it. Yeah, the chalice. Pull up on the chalice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let bubble up a little bit. Yeah, man. What but now, nah, Green will tell you I was thinking about it for a while, but I was saying, mm -hmm. y'all guys seem so serious. It will bring seriousness out of me. And I was actually fearing. <laughs> but what we're supposed to do when you come here because every day one come to show you to get self excel or one of them let me just come here. I know he was a serious brother though. Uh, serious about? man. Serious thing. Right, exactly. So, so that might be a problem. Oh, you think you can get too serious? Well, I've learned how to navigate my way through life and still tell the truth. Ah. Right. What's well, so the truth? Is the truth serious? Well, I only like doing that. I just feel funny if I do something different. Right, right, right. I said I never tell a lie in my life, so if but, anybody wants to judge me from that. Uh -huh. You can probably find one somewhere. You know what I mean, real so, thing. But I truth, right? That's my point. <laughs> right. All right, then. So, it's best people's got a problem with truth that like you'll be hitting? Yeah. I mean, well, it depends on, on, on where they are right now in life. But I find people like to be to be massaged and, and kept comfortable. And like, to me, Facebook or fake book, I like to call it sometimes, mm. will show you that. Like, I remember we were talking earlier about, you know, you put a post on your page and sometimes when people come in disrespectfully and say something else that you don't like, people will be like, man, man, get off my page and stuff. But what I also realize is sometimes some people can see somebody visit the page and say something respectfully and they just really don't want to hear any kind of point of view that is different and they get upset that you actually just said anything that was a different point of view. Like, well, my, my perspective is if you post something on Facebook, mm -hmm. it's a public forum, you're inviting comments. So That's some comments some comment, comments will be in favor and some comments will be against. Right, but I, I encounter some people that will get upset at me and say, man, this page in for that. It's like, so I raise, oh, so this page for likes alone. Mm -hmm. So to me, when you do that, it's Agreement. like, right. Agreement. So in real life too, even with art, I'm an entertainer. I find this would be in, in entertainment a lot. And there would be people that sound like high men talking, right? We hear this thing. I surround myself with people that build me up and blah, blah, blah. I understand that theory. But sometimes if you're being an idiot and you're saying, nah, boy, this nah, is boy's wrong. My people, anyhow, you know, I don't mind the haters, right? I just move with the people that, you know, with me, right? Then what that really means, that means that you could become a monster. And that's what happened to a lot of entertainers that I've met. Some who are solid before they got the fame and got this world that you create around you where you get a lot of yes men. Mm -hmm. So for instance, say Michael Jackson, he might, have a problem. he might have a problem with drugs for years, but when you just got people that know this is the king though, you can you can't tell the king don't get here. You can't want Paramount, to do anything. Yeah. Right? And the king is the man, no, if you don't let me get that, you have to leave, I'm sorry, one love. And you say, by God, eat. and I like being around you anyhow. I actually like you for true, so like you ain't gonna say nothing. So you put like on Michael Jackson, like, I, well he killing himself, right? So to me, when you keep preaching, listen, man, surround people with people that you know where you want, blah blah blah. But you might be with bare nonsense right now. How about you surround yourself with people that love you? 
Right? But that's not what they mean when they say that. They don't mean that. They mean people yeah, that yeah, help yeah. your mission. That's what I, I always hear. You know, forget the haters. No boy can't stop you. Your mission. Get people wrong you that can help you with your mission, whatever that is. I'm saying if you're not open to somebody to come on your page and not just give you a like, you might not even know to better your mission. Because you might think that this, it might be constructive advice. And you may say, right now, we, like, for instance, I would hear a lot of people that promoting the better welfare of women then. Men are women, mm -hmm. right? And they got three daughters. Mm -hmm. So my whole perspective on, on women has evolved. I, have a, I always have respect for women, but with daughters now it's like, you, you just want them to be the best you could be, just like myself, because I see my, it's like me as a female coming up now. So you're loving them as yourself, right? I find when people are promoting women's rights, sometimes if anybody comes in on that argument, says, so, um, okay, I'll give you an example. The other day I heard there was a, there was a discussion about something Edwin said. I don't know what was the, the, the source of it, the root of the whole thing. That was a hot topic recently. Some hot topic about him saying um, women should not, or they have to change so always, the attitude, um, respect, respect the self, the self and thing, yeah. to, right. Right. And then I heard one body, and I, I understand why the ladies were getting upset because listen, the men singing all this junk, and then one turn wrong and say blah. That's the impression they got that they were saying he's saying things like this and playing he's saying that. No problem. I understand why you're vexed. But then I heard somebody say, the reason the women doing that is called men want it, right? So men got to change the priorities, right? So then I politely asked, okay. So you're saying that the men are accountable for the women's actions, right? She said, yes, right? I said, okay then. So when a man do something wrong, is a woman accountable for his actions? She said, yes, right? I said, okay, no problem. You know, you might think the boy just saying yes or whatever, but I said, no problem. I assume that they mean that. I said, well, I would also like to add to that that we can be, because she said we should be accountable for one another. Okay. I said, I feel you can be accountable for yourself. They didn't want to hear that. And the person disagreed that you. They disagreed. You should be accountable for yourself. That you should be accountable for yourself. And that is at that point, so I was saying, okay. Right. I said, no, that to me is ludicrous. But I play along. I said, all right, I try to hear where the body coming from. Then they brought a verse for me. A Bible verse? Bible verse. Saying Ephesians 5 and 26, I think. They were talking about um, women, how a man should love his woman as Jesus loved the church, cherished it, and you should all of these things. So basically she's saying that men aren't doing that. She said, I know this is for husbands, but I will apply it to all men. And I told her, well, you can't really apply it to all men when it's a verse about husbands. And it's a furthermore, not just take up peace of the Bible. Look at the verses just before, because just before, it said, wife, submit to your husbands as unto the Lord in every single thing, obey, blah, blah, blah. I said, you don't like them verses too. If you want to say all men, you got to say no for that verse. All women submit to all men as unto the Lord, and all women have to do. And I said, that's for every woman? I said, well, if so. If I tell you, go off your but no, you can go off your but. I said, well, I can tell you already, you know, you ain't going to go off yes, but you can ask me back now, right? And not submit to me. And I said, guess why, though? Because you don't have to submit to me. If a man tell you stupidness, you don't have to submit to that foolishness. We're not real off tangent, though. No, no but On a tangent. Is, no, 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 because in the end, I'm saying, when a man talk crap on the radio, mm. you don't have to submit to that crap. So you can't say, oh, it's because the man was talking crap, we can talk, we hates and doing things like that. If you want, go on top of your head, go on top of your head. Okay. I ain't got a problem with that. But he's saying, don't say, he met me go on top of my head. You can't go to the judge and say, well, I, I was shoplifting today, but you know where it is, the main priority is wrong. I can't take from myself. No, man, women are intelligent beings. I got three daughters, and I will teach them to be accountable for themselves. Because guess what? A man might not be around anyhow. You might not have a husband anyhow. And you still got to be accountable for yourself. So you can, she can't say, but daddy, he, where was he there? Uh, a, lot, a lot of times, people be, people be speaking on different levels, though. Because you are speaking, you are speaking on a 
interpersonal level, mm. you know what I mean? An individualistic level. Right. And sometimes when people are making these arguments, whether it be racism or feminism or whatever, right. they're talking on a macro level. They're talking about a, a society now, you know right. what I mean? And you, not that you're, you're, the argument is the same, but mm. when they really engage in the same conversation, and the thing about Facebook is, mm. and all them platforms, is that people can, people can hardly explain themselves in speech. Yeah. Right? Much, Much less, less in writing. writing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for real. It's true. So a lot of miscommunication and misunderstandings go on. And you never know. Because you can't see the person's face. Mm. You don't know the attitude that the person said right. it with. A person might say, my Matthew, you was taught beer jump. Yeah. If right. I say, my Matthew, you was taught beer jump. And the mistake, can you read me? And you, you read me? Mm -hmm. And you, you hear... Matthew, you talk beer junk. Meaning that you talk in junk. You know, really? But you're right, you're right. And to be fair to the person, they might not even meant to have gone that deep. But right. for me, that's why they like start out asking the question. So you're saying blah, blah, blah. And when they say yes, I'm saying that men are comfortable for me. And then I ask, oh, but can we be Listen, I, I, I was a man I used to like to argue. No. Hmm? I used to like to argue. Mm. Not so much. Not so much. Yeah, no. for real. Right? But that's one of the reasons I heard me on Facebook. And <laughs> you see Facebook... I don't face but argument mm. don't make no sense. No, don't make no sense. Unless you unless you are doing it for the publicity, you have a point to well, prove. I have, I have a dilemma. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Because the kind of position or space in the universe for me that I felt like I had to well I did just on my journey in Barbados, I felt all the time that I was the person that and I only deduced this after seeing. Right, that somehow I like I don't fear what the establishment might say as much to me as some other artists because they don't say it, they might tell me it behind the scenes. So a lot of the times, even though I don't feel like quarreling with people, I almost wonder if I'm I not doing what I am supposed to do. Well, if you feel like doing it, you gotta do it. That's the thing, but that's this is a dilemma. I also believe it don't make sense quarreling with people on Facebook all the time and stuff, but I, I feel like. I gotta say something. So I might step into somebody's post and ask a question every now and then. Why you feel you gotta say something? Why you feel you gotta say something? Mm -hmm. Because they got something in me. Oh, cause you just feel it saying something. No, if you feel you can make a change, right? right. And you could infect somebody brain with some new information. Yeah. You just say, I know I feel like a convert in the body. I get to the point that I feel I like can't convert in the body. All you could do is be you. Say what you mm -hmm. want to say. Because if you ain't saying what you want, say that means you're parroting some of the foolishness. I want to hear what Adrian Green is. I want to hear who Farrah is. If he ain't saying exactly how he would say it, and he's saying it in a style that I feel the whole star line would like to hear it now, then we really in, in be, you ain't doing that on earth if you ain't be you. You have done nothing. You have done right. something that somebody do. But I got a lot of pretenders out there too. Or no? Right. Nah. So, so right, I'd be wondering if I'm pretending. By not saying something sometimes, you understand me? That's but the dilemma. But at the end, you just say, and you like, ma, you know what, ma, like, but if I say this now, I don't even know what can be cut. But if you, cut, if you keep second guessing yourself or then you will never get off your chest. But, I think my mother always tell me, when you go a cold, and you cough, spit, oh. bring it up. Listen, I but all the time, you ain't going to necessarily do it because sometimes that is yeah, you're in trouble. Because we all people, let's be, I, I, I see this. Like, for instance, a dear, me and a man had a conversation on the phone. I message him, he, he, he tell me, oh, well, yo, you want to give me the chance? I said, oh, well, you know, I was sick. Not meaning that I ain't paying you, meaning that I was sick. Mm. So he was like, no, 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 that horse work, big man, you go going still, da, 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 da. So I was like, I said, oh, all right, you know what, I hear you. I ain't can't, you know, like, wait, see, so you trying to tell me, if I feel that you owe me something. Mm. As many see face to face thing. Yeah, that's mm. your yeah. Right, cool. And when he seen face to face, I was like, yo, but uh, that's not what he was telling you, you know. Mm. What he was actually telling you is that, yeah, I was sick, so they had all the money for me <coughs> to give you. Mean that, and then I left work early, so that means I didn't get to see you again. You understand? So I mean, next time I should have got the money, but then what he was telling you, uh, but what he, re, uh, what he replied, mm. me, like, you owe this body, you got to pay this body. Like, and as you say, when you say words on face, but when people just don't look at what you're saying, when they ain't pointing at them. The right. minute you start to point at them, it be like, yeah, so we we saying, oh, yeah, mm. oh, oh, I don't understand. I thought he was my friend. Cause people somehow feel that like, unless it genuinely mean them good and then cause read it and right off the bat without interpreting it. Mm. Because some people read something, like, yeah, good, yeah. But then <coughs> go back and read it again, you're like, yeah, hold up. 
Yeah, well, you know, we uh, like you double check yourself, you know right, what I mean? Right. And that's where it's happening on Facebook. A lot of people is wait it, wait funny, they you know, say wait funny. Me has thought that you right. Well, I guess another thing they're trying to work out too, and they're learning as as life progresses, is how different mindsets think when they're hearing the same information. So you might say, but to four different men, it means something totally different. So you realize sometimes I might try and say something, and I realize, yo, these people get this a whole different way. And from traveling, I realize different cultures think differently when you see the same thing. Yeah. So sometimes when they're being outside for a bit, and they come back, and they say something, and they say, oh, Lord, let go and stir up trouble. And then they're looking to stir up that trouble. I was just saying something. That's something recently. That happened with me going to a, a movie show. Mm. I said something about it on Facebook. I probably as green would know, I have a long way of saying something, something, but I thought I put it out in steps and at the end of the thing, I said basically because of this bad experience I had at the theater. I always said, this was my point, really. If we don't improve our standards individually as people in our various vocations in Barbados, we can't expect the government driving a big, 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 big bus to do it any better. When, when we in a restaurant and somebody, you know, whatever the the chips are saying was cold or saying the ask question. You say, we're on it, you treating them bad. You know what I mean? You gotta do you thing good if you want them to do them thing good. Let me just start here. And I had a horrible experience at the the movie theater. What I wanted to do was say that message that we gotta try and improve if we want the government to improve. That was really my message. The end of the message, I raised everybody was like, it's discriminating against Rasta for truth though. Some people are saying that. Some people are saying this discriminate against actors or in the industry. All actors bad. Some people was asking me, who is the body? Say the name. Let me hang them. <laughs> right? And I was like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> people <laughs> PMing me now from the board and thing, asking me what happened. And they just like, oh, shoot. I know now when my old Lord Ray started doing things again and say he's caused their trouble. All I was saying is share my experience with everybody else to share this. Oh. And me and my daughter basically get turned back and we the pay and thing and they didn't like how that turned out and stuff. And it end up going to people want to pinpoint the person. I not even about mentioning the person because it's not about that. It's about we as a people really. realizing from this little lesson that we improve. So if the person is saying that, that's all I was saying. I would let the person hear that too. Right. That's all I saying. Because at the end of the day, it was like my daughter get turned back. She come down to see daddy at this show. We was there from early before everybody else. In the end, we ain't getting a seat for whatever reason. And we had to go and sit down in some plastic chairs at your front. Right. I said, nah, my daughter ain't dressed no so for that. You won't come up. I, I never seen my daughter dress so yeah, but it did the first day that daddy and daughter ever went playing. Ever. I built with all the children already. This is Samuel, but she said, we getting up tonight. She's the one that like music and want to get on stage and all this. And so I said, all right, man, come. You want to see me? Yeah, yeah, she can. The girl come up in an all white right dress, right? A band saw up on top of her head. I never see she up in a band saw do up something. A nice little necklace, a, a shawl, like a scarf, I think. I hear saying, you a fief, you a... I want to show up. Have you ever owned a G-Pass up here? Come on, my lawsuit, she can feel awesome. My man, I love my lawsuit, it's well, kind of fitting, so yeah. I'm trying to look half decent. I still can match it. Yeah. I can see people looking at me in the malls, and they say, yeah, man, you can see it from me too, you know what I mean? I feel yeah. it hard. Yeah. So to go up there, you know, and they pay the thing, and she can't read daddy in this thing. for sure, because she just think movie, movie, daddy in a movie, she... You know what I mean? Yeah. To get there, and then we, you hear still say then. Whatever mix up happened, I want to go into it right now. And I didn't hear no apology. I didn't hear you want a refund. I didn't, and we stand with a big bottle of popcorn and juice and thing. And I got so sorry here, there, man. Let, let me go home, man. I, I ain't. And the whole way home, she just tell me, Daddy, it's okay. And they say, Man, sorry here. And the more she says, It's okay, I'm feeling like you. You used to be on this, it's like my daughter. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's all that happened. And I think what would have changed the vibe? Is if for whatever reason you could have said I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. Y'all, you know, and then it would be like, you know, like when people get to chauffeur and they get a bad, bad roti, people just give them a next roti. And it's be the same roti that was just bad, but they just want you one and a free drink. And then they turn the boy, nothing. And it's the same roti. Right? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be probably happy to say you want bad the, the popcorn thing. And they just know right, they feel yeah, we're dealing with proper customer service, we're getting far, but not like not the opposite that you're looking upset. I've heard people from overseas tell me Belgians don't say sorry. Well, in customer service, I think we have an attitude where, right? I yeah, think, and it's, it is a principle across the board. It's not, and this is the other thing I said, it's not about the film industry. 
I said there's a cultural problem we got that's applied to everything. So if it's cricket, mm. DJs and the radio, whatever, we've got this vibe that is a top-down vibe. So Chris Gill, I know a lot of people think let me say this, people said they like Chris Gill, he feels a bad John, blah, 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 blah. But I remember going to, I was in England, and this taxi man, Pakistan, I said, y'all have the worst cricket board ever. I said, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can say that. I said, well, it's obvious. You don't pick the best players. Yeah. And Sanjay just hit me, I said, yeah. Yeah, like. At the end of the day, right, they may pick in 10, they'll pay, you know, they may talk about, you got to give an apology because he messed that Mr. So So they understand that the cricketers is who the board serving. We just got that the cricketers serve the board. We don't we, have leaders. We have people who feel they're rulers. We have rulers. I'm just getting all the money. The men got paid their own money sometimes for the rooms and all these kind of things. They up there, get three like stars. Dwayne Smith don't do bad when here. They're Chris Gill don't do bad when here. And then we say, oh, they want to pay for money. No, they've got a certain environment you need. And, well, as you said, you know, I really believe that government has a lot of responsibility over a nation. I can't just leave this country mm. when I want to, just so, right? Mm. So you best have that care of me, because I'm, I'm captive here. So, so, but on the other hand, mm. they are the way they are, because we ain't better than, as you said earlier, mm. we ain't better. We allow them to feel that way. And who allows you to feel we, the public, mm. allows the rulers, or the people who feel they're rulers, mm. to get away with feeling that they're rulers. And when Chris Gill does what he does, they don't jump. The, the West Indian public imp on the West Indian cricket board like it should be. Mm. For the longest time, it's the cricketers that used to get this, the, the uh, flack. Yeah. They only want, as you're saying, they only want play for money. They ain't got no okay. heart. They ain't got no pride. This. You can imagine telling Maradona pay. All these different people play, just play for some pride. Anybody in this world right now playing sport, try and play for Tell some Michael pride. Jordan, man, you won't play for money, Michael, man. Uh, yes, play for money is the yeah, main it's job. It's his job. It's the job. It's so the job. Is, but people you know, you're not supposed to get paid for playing a sport. Right. I mean, it's good that we actually do play for pride. They play for more pride than anybody else in the world, probably because there's got times, as we know, just pay the own way and stuff like but, that. But, but generally, that colonial mentality and that survival mentality mm. exists in us, except, except if you feel the body on the same level as you are, or lower. But this is the sad part, it was, this is what I was saying, it's when I realized that we are, wherever's a lower level, right, is at the same way at our level. And that's why I was saying, like, if you're a security guard, and you don't got to be the security guard that aren't the people on the basketball court or anything because you're still dirty. You could just be nice. I just say be nice to one another. If we try being nice to one another, right, and everything we do, you see how far we will get. But it's like we love the opportunity to exercise when I say like, well, I don't care if if he thinks he's the getting and blah blah and you ain't listening to me and you ain't want to apologize either in general. And again, I'm not talking about just this film thing, I'm talking about in general. The board will not apologize to a player. We're not like that. The DJs will never say sorry to some artists for not playing your time or something like that. Because we got this positional problem where we don't see one that as equals, right? And nobody can make this whole ship sail by itself. Like, we gotta come together. And it, so I think it's a cultural problem that we have in every, and you can see it playing you know, on in every department. And if you, you think it has to do with just being a slave society or a former slave society? Of course. And that's the one reason I don't come down hard on it all the time because that's one of the things I had to learn when I first came back from Canada after living for two years. I had to remember you know, Matthew, why people is thinking how oh, this thing, because you Beijing too. So, do you remember how they got Venn diagrams at school? Or you got a circle, so on, there's got another little circle in there, yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Or say that you was living here, but you went here, you find out all about all these other things. You can't expect to squeeze all these other things in the people's head that ain't never see them things that you ain't see. And, and like, even when you try to educate them about it, they, when you try to educate them about it, you like, they, they still don't want to accept it, like, oh, how are you supposed to know that you know these things? You like, yo, like, for instance, you remember a youth would tell you, Ma, wait, so when you living in New York, men stand up on the corner, cell phone, I tell you, like, you're the idiot. <laughs> I think you're the reason why. And then you get them the reason, and they're like, oh, oh that is why. Mm -hmm. But somebody like, Ma, you still sell my phone. I'm like, all right, so then you would just die. <laughs> That's it. And like, it, plain and simple, I just got a reason why you shouldn't do it. Mm. But you still won't do it. Well, but you just thing. say so because you're here. Mm. I just when you get there, and then you look wrong. You're like, yo. 
You know what's killing me? Like, bah, you know what's killing me? I don't know. You ever hear somebody say, boy, if that of me in slavery times, them can do that to me? Ha. Huh. Not me, <laughs> boy. You ever hear you ever hear <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody <laughs> say that? I hear so much. I don't hear me tell me about slavery. Somebody tell me, you don't remember when the police met a whole bunch, a whole bunch of people laid up on the ground. Oh, police can make me laid up on the ground, big man. I <laughs> like, dude. Like, this dude that met me laid on got Neil. About Neil height and got float size, big man. This man was humongous. It was another way of getting wrong. He and then he had a big, 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 big gun. Mm. Like, who you think you is? You're the people country. Who everybody out there, big boy, you could crush crap people can on me. If, if Make, that's something a lot of people know. Like, you, you always got this. People don't, you see, you gotta look in the mirror to see who you is in history, too. You know, people just think. You gotta look in the mirror, see yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. we hear that already. But I mean, who you represented at <clears throat> those days? Cause they ain't really got much and different things on this side. You got the people that sell out. You got, as you said, Johnnies. You got idiots. You got the they all exist. They gotta be a balance. Right, it's a balance. So it's who? What part are you playing now? and styles at Katie's with popular brands like Kenneth Cole, Hugo Boss and Michael Kors at affordable prices. Let Katie's outfit you for your next outing. Katie's, located on Spooner's Hill, 